Now that we've got our film idea, it's time we start outlining. Outlining is a very underrated step in the pre-production process. People usually just dive right into the script and, uh, could we actually, could we just bring the camera a little closer, please? People usually dive right into the script and I would recommend starting an outline, which I think is very important because you want to know the beats of your story and the three act structure will help you define that by finding out key plot points. I'll explain what all of this means in this video, but for now, I want to introduce you to someone. This is Mr. Whiteboard. Uh, no, I'm not racist. That, that, that just happens to be his name. We're going to write on him today, and yeah. You're probably wondering why am I even outside to begin with? <laughs> Sorry. I just, I miss it. You know, the fresh air, we all miss it. Just being trapped inside of our house all day. All right, Mr. Whiteboard, let's go. Let's get started. It's time that we start breaking your story down into three acts. So simply put, act one, act two, act three. Can, can you see that? Uh, so act one always begins with your introduction. You wanna introduce your characters, show the environment that they're in, Make sure the audience has a good understanding of what this world is. Show the characters in their daily lives and the audience understands what their way of normality is. Next up, you have your inciting incident. Something is going to happen that will disrupt their normal living occurrence. That way you have drama, you have conflict in your story, a story without conflict isn't really a story at all. Always make sure to have an inciting incident. Every film has that, good films, bad films. This is something you always need to have a problem. Second thoughts is something that the supporting characters come together and try to think of how they're going to deal with that specific problem. Whether it be a physical battle or a mental battle, depending on how your film is going to be processed. This then results into your first climax. This is when a small battle begins to disrupt the town. This is when we see just how powerful or how dangerous your inciting incident is, whether your inciting incident be a person or a force of nature. It basically shows that this is not going to be an easy battle. And it of course is going to result in to act two, obstacles. This is basically what act two is mainly about. What obstacles your character, your main character or supporting characters are going to face trying to defeat your inciting incident. If you see movie trailers, a lot of the footage used is from act two because that is where a lot of the battles happen. That is where a lot of the tension starts to build. This is how your characters perceive themselves, how they perceive others. There is so much tension happening, which then brings us to the midpoint. Your midpoint is when there is a big shift in your story. It's a twist that basically that you thought it was going one way. It seems like they're finally going to win, but then at the midpoint, something happens and it changes that perspective of that character. Basically your inciting incident and your midpoint are two conflicts that really drive the 
the story into your character's thought process. Next, you go into your second climax. This is where everything seems to fall apart. This is where it shows that the bad guys might have won the battle. Right ways and wrong ways to show this. But basically, you don't want to show just the 30 minutes of your second climax of just your character sitting around, just moping and doping and just saying, oh, well, I can't win, oh well. You can have like an inner voice, just tell your protagonist that it's not over till it's over, meaning that they shouldn't give up. Again, that was just a sort of basic way of explaining it, but this is just sort of your point where your character thinks he's down for the count, but of course, it's not over till it's over. He gets back up and continues to fight that inciting incident, that antagonist, whichever. Which then brings us into act three. This is the final battle. This is like an Avengers Endgame. The heroes unite, they come together to defeat Thanos and it stopped recording. God damn it. Uh, sound is still rolling. Uh, that's okay. And of course, this is where the most action in your film happens. Now that's an example of an action film. What about in a drama film? If it's a character piece, this is where the character finally stands up to his inner demons, life or death. I mean, that's a pretty big thing, but that's going back into act two where it seemed that plan might have failed. Act three is when that track goes back together and is going to see if it's effective or not. Again, not every film has to be a happy ending. Sometimes your character wins. Sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he doesn't get the girl. Sometimes he doesn't win the battle. Sometimes your antagonist wins. So all of your action is happening right here, which then brings us into the resolution. This is sort of the aftermath of the battle. This is where we see who lived, who died, um, how it affected them. Did they win the battle, but at what cost? Did they lose an arm? Did they lose their best friend? This is sort of just that moment where everything is finally coming together. Everything has seemingly wrapped up. Happy ending or not, the story finally comes to a close. Unless of course, well, your freaking M. Night Shyamalan or something and you want to just add this big old twist at the end thinking that something else is happening. We'll explain it in the sequel, you know? And hey, that's Hollywood in a nutshell. This can be for whether it be a 90 minute feature film or even a five minute short film. This process does work. And this is where your outlining comes in. You just have to basically fill in these moments. And once you figure that out, once you figure out all your beats, what your act one is, what your act two is, what your act three is, you basically have your story. Now, it's a matter of turning that into your script. I should have, I should pick that up. Okay.